Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Legendary Iron Man playthrough where I am testing out uh, the full version of Long War. It is time for an Operation Lost Misery with uh, sealed armor so uh, Edwin will be fully immune to poison, fire and ice. Sucks but it happens from time to time. We do have a squad of five people there. Shinobi, Grenadier, Gunner, Sharpshooter and Specialist should be okay for that. Uh, just looking at uh, the pack we do um, at, uh, at the Space Wolves, uh, we do have a fair just share of a little bit of everything in here. But we also do have 21 enemies, so this is going to be a tough cookie. Let's go and see how well we're going to do. Okay, look. The only job that we do have is kill, kill, and then kill again. So this is going to be fun. Sort of. Heading there now. Shinobi. Moves up. All the way to the door. Bubble. On it. Moves up as well. Frodo takes a bit of a high ground. Euler Got it covered. takes some high ground. And Sam Synapse Walker is going to move down here as well. I tell you what, Sam uh, my hmm, hmm. Okay, wait a second. Before we do anything, let's just double check if there are enemies. On my way. The answer is a clear maybe. No, the answer is a clear no. Good to go. Just try to get onto high ground uh, into some aiming angles that will allow us to hit most, okay. if not all, of the alleyways. Good copy. Moving on target. Out. But we can move over there to a cup uh, to the windows. Got a copy. Got it covered. Roger. Why? Got my eyes. Hear something? That's not a bad place. Heading to that, location. that is also not a bad place. All of them very well covered. Good copy. Moving on target. Bubble hasn't found anyone. Understood. Moving out. We're steadying our weapon. Overwatch. 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 And Overwatch. I assume they are inside of the building. It's a large, it's definitely a large map. Moving to position. Getting it done. 
Affirmative. Moving out. So, we're just going to put a better overall setup together. Okay. Gonna moves up. Bubble begins to move up as well. That second floor is not a bad position for cover as well. I'm trying to take over the drone. <laughs> oh wow. That is a very, very solid eight pack that I'm seeing. Moving to position. Affirmative. Still want to take over the drone because we do have a good chance of being successful but not this turn Moving to position. we're a tiny bit closer steadying weapon and the rest just overwatches this is a massive pack Imagine a remote start. Just think about it for a second. Going haywire. Oh wait, before we're doing that, before we're doing that, always be efficient with your actions. A protocol into haywire. Okay, we're not going to be revealed yet. And this year is going to be our living mimic beacon. Great. I like that. Well, so much for not getting revealed. Okay, I think this is going to be an ultra valuable grenade with the explosion together. Four. Now, I really would prefer 
you to move over here because that's a lot of flanking. And that's the area of suppression I was looking for. Good, if I kill someone then that will death from above trigger and that will purify us a problem Purifier was a problem, is the correct uh, statement. Good hit, not a kill, but a good hit. Shut down for one turn. Oh, you guys are going to go down. What's that, the stasis? Whatever. Moves over here. And that should be a triple kill. Well, the sector might not die, but the majority of the others will. Free reload. Moves to here. Nice little flanking position. And that's a two for one yet again. to move a little bit closer overwatches and we'll just hold a targeting the sector so that the overwatch has a decent chance of hitting sector is likely just going to try to mind spin but that is okay next turn we can flank and kill him
Telefon. Okay, back. So, where have we been? Oh yeah, I remember. Where have we left off? I was just about to collect loot and shaft that sector. There you go. That's a two for one. Why would you stand here? It just doesn't make any sense. Putting yourself in such a miserable position. We're going to continue exploiting miserable positions as we're flanking the priest. He will move because he's flanked. Might as well take that two-third uh, chance shot. 64%. And we're overwatching. Brought into sustenance in the middle of uh, the walkway. And of course, wouldn't be XCOM if there isn't the next pack. This time featuring a lot of Vipers. I think I just want to kill that stun monster first. Didn't kill him, but heavily injured him though. be able to kill one of the vipers Whatever you say. remove cover okay that's good Just wondering, that would actually take out both of them. I'm confident that our overward shot will kill her. Come on, your head out. And the suppression makes it harder for them to hit. I'm trusting you here. Kill the stun lancer. And we're just going to overwatch to kill the priest. This here is to prevent Vipers from hitting Bubble. It's never just that easy. Holy Warrior unfortunately does no longer kill, kill. Uh, the bound target. Well, the sniper was a bit of a problem. Admittedly. Go patch him up. Adjusting sights. Ammo out. Let's rock. 
Cool. Let's kill the Viper. The Sniper Viper. That is... Wow. Indeed. That was almost nothing. Double Alarm Core is a good reward. Let's make sure that this guy dies 100%. And removing line of sight barriers. Finally, suppressing the Viper, just in case it wants to flee. Also, we get more armor when we're overwatching. And more defense. And the Viper gets a penalty to, to hit. Let's get the Viper down. That's a no. Enemy is still up. Rock and roll. Okay, I'll go. Okay, to make sure that we're not missing. Let's remove uh, the poison before it even becomes a problem. begins to move further forward we're in a tough spot overall this mission is harder than expected venom took this one pretty gnarly shot it's not viper it was frodo but you get the point Okay, well, I guess here we go. Someone or something is coming from the left. Six, seven. I think we can take the gunner down. Okay. Good. Marks the trooper.
This would be flanking. This unfortunately is not because this is in the way. Okay. I'm going. Let's try to hit into full cover and see if this is going anywhere. Answer is no. Let's kill him. I was tempted to do area overwatch, but that's potentially not worth it. Four gives themselves an A protocol. Try to get rid of the sentry. You want some more? And the engineer. I think that's the last pack, by the way. Okay, short of that one sniper shot, where I really don't feel that, that, that there was much I could do. I mean, it, yes, I was in half cover, okay, but still, I mean, crit across the battlefield, that was nasty. They do have uh, Viper snipers have a good aim as well. So really there isn't that much that you can do other than actually focus firing them and unfortunately it was in really good cover. 24 days is something. Blade Master. I think we're going with Heat Warheads for that extra point of shredding. I like 10 Warheads as well uh, for full damage on the grenades. But the shredding at the moment is still our biggest problem. So many good weapons. But he can't use... Um, he, he doesn't have a lot of use for either of those. If he stands alone, he'll get extra. Um, he will get extra defense. That in itself is fine, and that isn't bad either. Hunter's instinct plus this here together is brutal. So let's do this. Guaranteed hits are fine as well. I really like them because that'll allow us to definitely finish someone irregardless. Six, six turn cooldown though is a bit of a problem. Now we're going to go with that. Synapse. Definitely cyclic fire. And I don't even know. Synops, I, I'm not sure if he is in the Grey Knights. I don't think he is. What we could do with his uh, 30 odd points is. Yeah, that's okay. That is fine. That's actually quite good. These two together.
Gain plus one damage on critical hits for every two enemies that you can see. And that includes... But uh, actually, yeah. Full stop, period. Combined with a higher crit chance, it's actually really good. Hmm. Not that you would be able to crit the Chosen, but you know, for the rest, it is very good. That is not bad either, but we already got combative. So now I think we're going to take that. It's good. More crit damage. And we could even collect the corpses. That's good. That's great. So many stuff. Uh, so much. Yeah, so many stuff. Good English, Saiken. So much uh, stuff. Fabulous. That was good. We definitely will need the infirmary. Evac resistance recruiters. Uh, resistance recruiter unit has run into an advent patrol. We need to evacuate. Hmm. Sure. The question is, is this yet again one of these missions where we immediately need to go? Haven't had that mission yet. Oh yeah, that very much looks like a mission where we are going in and then it's go time immediately. We got one. Let's just double check how many we could field. Theoretically got another gunner in New Indonesia. Lots of people are tired, which is not a huge surprise. Yeah, I think just looking at it, uh, this could be our team. Damn, Zirkim. That's a shameful outfit. Why did why did I save you like that? Oh my lord. I mean the rest is okay-ish. You can have a bit of a kind of rebel look, but those hot pens, hmm, not your best angle. Okay, what I was about to say is, it's not bad, 15, we, we have 8 people to go. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to do that, but we're going to do that in the next, um, in the next episode. In the meantime, thank you for watching guys, appreciate it as always. If you enjoy the content, uh, leave a like and a uh, comment down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye!